here we are. Um, we're at the community laundry uh, laundry center, and uh, I wonder if we could go inside this actually. All right. So yeah, it just does that. It's still filming though. So we have uh, the washer and dryer here, and it's connect it uses the gray water. What it produces after the wash goes out to this other side um, and fills this uh, white bucket here uh, for the gray water. And Each then washing cycle produces 45 liters of gray water. Oh, I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> then uh, and then we have this rainwater catchment system here on the building, a part of the building, and so it drips down here to. Uh, fill up um, let's see ah here we go so you have this thing coming out where you could connect it to where the water would drip into uh, into this bucket to store to store the captured rainwater and so it goes through this uh, filter cloth and then um, as it fills up we could turn this on and so this fills not necessarily this is part of the gray water so this fills down to a connecting pipe which goes all the way down to this uh, garden over here, which we'll go check out. The grey water and the rain water flow in separate pipes to two separate containers in the garden, each sized at one kiloliter. And this is when it gets really cool. So it comes down here to fill up what we see in here. So we see that it comes down and fills up in this, uh, in this uh, tank here. Under. Take a peek inside. Yeah, see? I don't know if you uh, could really see that inside there, but. Isn't it gonna fill up the other tank? Yeah. So there's also another one on the left here. Um, and I don't know why it's pouring out like this. Open it. I think that's open. Yeah. Ah, so this is already filled. So this is overflow. Okay. So it'll probably be a good idea to turn this off soon. And then you can see that it has a connected to a pump here. And thus good. Okay, so this is the top of the uh, um, of the of the eco waste system here. Um, so from that tank below it gets pumped up. It's an automatic pump, so when it reaches a certain elevation inside the tank, it kicks on the pump and pumps up the water up here through through this bit. And then it goes and uh, becomes infiltrated through these bottles here. Um, and what were you saying? How aerated. These bottles aerated? So, do you mind describing um, the process that takes place? Yeah. Water shoots up out of these small holes. It gets pushed around in these plastic. So these are recycled aeration mixtures. So the water gets mixed with air so that it becomes aerobic. So that the bacteria that are actually doing the digesting of this water don't die. Mm. Instead, they serve their biological function, which is to purify the water. And now, how does this uh, this bit right here plays in come into play? So this reed bed that has all the stones in it eventually reaches the point where it gets too full of water and this is designed to happen so that this is its overflow. This will push it into the next system. Mm. The second reed bed and the third reed bed. If you look closely you will see that there is some water in here. It stinks. <laughs> But it doesn't stink as badly as the first one. Right. And the third one doesn't stink much at all. Right. It's an overflow system. It's pumped from the lower barrels to this high point over here. Mm. And from here it can go back down again through the garden.